Next.js and the five things you need to know about it in 2021. What do Facebook, JavaScript, and ordering a coffee at Starbucks have in common? Apart from Java being a type of coffee and Facebook being compiled from script, well, a lot more than you think. This is Next.js and seven things you need to know about it in 2021. Welcome to Kofi Group. We're the executive recruitment specialists dedicated to matching software developers and machine learning engineers. On a direct hire basis with VC-backed startups in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York, and Austin. Our videos cover hiring tips and strategies for startups, software engineering, data science, interview preparation, salary negotiation, remote work, recruitment tips, and much more. Subscribe now for the latest software engineering and machine learning insights, invaluable hiring tips, and the best career building advice on YouTube. Also, make sure you stick around to the end for some bonus industry info you don't want to miss. So, if you think about it, Next.js is kind of like ordering at Starbucks. Think of the web client as a thirsty customer who walks into a Starbucks, and the barista as the server. Now, this barista already has a certain idea about what the customer may want ahead of time. After all, people generally want coffee and other caffeinated drinks when they walk into a coffee shop. The customer may choose the pre-made double-shot espresso in a can, which is an easy sale, as all the barista has to do is grab it from the fridge, ring up the sale, and wish the customer a good day. In this instance, the client has requested Static Site Generation, or SSG, from the server, which is by far the fastest choice. The server has to perform little to no processing to complete the request, as it's only returning pre-built content. But then what happens when the customer wants a triple shot coconut milk iced coffee with an extra three pumps of caramel sauce, double whipped cream, and chocolate drizzle on top, and three kinds of nuts and sprinkles? Well, the barista has to roll up their sleeves and get to work, son, so they can bring this crazy concoction to life. This is the exact same thing when the client requests that a page is custom built at time of request, as pre-built just won't do. The server has a job ahead of it, with server-side rendering, or SSR, having to sift through the static content, fetch the data required, and then expend processing resources before shooting it over to the client side for display. There's a third scenario and one we don't really recommend you do next time you go order your morning coffee. The customer wants to Irish up their coffee a little and orders a tall black to go, sneaking in a chicken nip of whiskey from the hip flask on the way out. Both the barista and the customer do a little of the work to get the end result, the same way as sometimes there will be a process known as client-side rendering or CSR performed on the client side itself, independent of the server. Though there are unique instances where CSR can be an advantage, generally both SSG and SSR are much faster and more efficient in the same way that it's perfectly acceptable to have an Irish coffee during the holiday season but indulging every day makes you look like a bit of an alcoholic. Remember, drink responsibly. What is Next.js? Next.js is an open source front-end web development JavaScript framework based on the popular Facebook-backed React. The ability for developers to quickly create both static loading and dynamically rendered websites has now elevated Next.js status to one of the recommended React toolchains, thanks to its utility by adding a layer of abstraction to simple tasks within the framework. Where React renders all content in the client-side browser, Next.js adds in flexibility by enabling applications to render on the server using its resources. This process works around some of the common issues associated with React rendering on the client side, which we'll explore a little later on in this video. What's Next.js used for? Remember the Starbucks analogy? The way Next.js handles SSG pages is still reactive, even if the content is statically generated. The client side application has full interactivity with the content despite it effectively being a copy and paste job. Cast your mind back to that can of double shot espresso. Where pages depend on specific input data and pre-built just won't do, Next.js has the capacity to generate all page combinations for all the given inputs and variables through SSR. Again, this is like that monstrous customized coffee order. The page content may need to be constantly updated if it has time-sensitive features like real-time stock pricing and charts or something simpler like a chat bar. The CSR is the way to go just so long as the majority of the page isn't being rendered on the client side. 
Next.js takes care of everything, whether it be server or client-based. It's the nuance of difference between dosing your coffees with whiskey during Christmas and having a problem. Simply put, Next.js is a React framework used for developing single-page JavaScript applications that can easily perform static site generation, server-side rendering, or take care of client-side rendering. Are you thinking about exploring new software engineering opportunities? Kofi Group is working with VC-backed SaaS, AI, developer tooling, and social impact startups around the country. All of the startups we work with utilize modern technologies, value work-life balance, and are hiring engineers on a 100% remote, on-site, and hybrid basis. We handle all salary negotiations and regularly see compensation packages ranging from $150,000 to $200,000 a year, plus equity for senior engineers. To benefit from a confidential conversation about your career and some of the best opportunities for software developers and startups, contact us at kofi-group.com today. Pros Automatic Static Optimization Next.js has a feature called Automatic Static Optimization, which is a flowery way of saying the framework allows for hybridized pages that may statically load sections from the server, have others that are rendered server-side, and yet others that are rendered client-side. Smart selection based on content. Adaptability It may sound rudimentary, but the ability Next.js has to adjust the size of websites and apps to the size of the screen of the device is something fundamental that drastically improves the end-user experience and cannot be understated. Security Because some websites are statically generated by Next.js, there is no real connection to the dependencies and user data stored on the server, so any sensitive information remains secure and protected. Faster Dev Cycle Model View Presenter MVP can be created at breakneck speeds in Next.js, thanks to a host of pre-made components that allow you to not only build quickly, but also get feedback on the product, so that the review process is nice and fast, not wasting any more time or money than it should. Truly cross-platform Next.js-based sites and apps are able to be accessed on any device – Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, Linux – take your pick. Short loading times the performance Next.js brings to apps via SSG is lightning fast as they're copied over, but also when the pages themselves are rendered server-side. Huge support Next.js is a framework that is gaining popularity and being open source, the number of contributors is growing as well. There's plenty of articles, literature, and support available, so no matter the issue, there's likely someone who has thought of a solution. TypeScript support Remember life without TypeScript? Next.js configures and compiles TypeScript automatically, which is a huge quality-of-life improvement for any programmer who has cut their teeth on JavaScript vanilla. Zero Configuration The application logic of Next.js-based pages and applications is automatically compiled and bundled, a bias towards fast production to free up resources for other avenues. Have you considered using Next.js? We'd love to hear from you. Type Next.js in the comments below and share your feedback with us. Also, keep watching to the end for some bonus content as we share our favorite Next.js learning resources. Cons Downside of flexibility So, while all this Next.js flexibility sounds awesome from the perspective of the onlooker, the downside is that there isn't much in the way of built-in front pages, meaning the front-end layer has to be created from scratch and from the ground up. It does what it does. Unfortunately, you can't modify how Next.js routes through nodes as it's limited by a file-based router. So if dynamic routes are something your project needs, you'll need to use to use Node.js server. Lacks a manager Next.js has no state manager, so if you need a way to access and modify the application state, then you'll need a plugin like Redux or MobX to handle that side of things. Which companies are using Next.js? As it turns out, there are a heap of websites that use Next.js, like media rating site IMDB, design site GoDaddy, and bizarrely a whole host of cryptocurrency sites like Binance, Libon Coin, and CoinMarketCap that require a unique blend of SSG for the base site, SSR for user info and wallets, and CSG for constantly updating the asset pricing. It's worth going all in on Next.js, solely based on the server-side rendering alone. 
For too long, JavaScript has been too focused on rendering on the client side. So Next.js developing and pushing that SSR concept really is a breath of fresh air. The simple fact is that Next.js has become so popular mainly because it solved an age-old issue developers had with JavaScript rendering in the browser itself. By doing a lot of the work on the server side, the overall end-user experience is greatly improved. But at the same time, Next.js still allows that CSR. Make JavaScript great again? Done! Congratulations, you made it to our bonus content. Thanks for staying tuned in. As a special reward, we're going to share our top five online resources so you can learn all about Next.js and add it to your programming repertoire. Seeing as how Next.js is gaining in popularity and being touted as the next big thing in web development, 2021 is looking like a pretty good year to upskill. So here are our top picks. Number one, Universal React with Next.js, the ultimate guide. This is a course heavy in server-side rendering, complete with exercises to make Next.js projects from scratch. Number two, Next.js Dev to Deployment. Udemy has a great course that really focuses on building from scratch and has the advantage of being presented by Brad Traversi, considered one of the best instructors in web development. Number three, React, the complete guide. Even though this is a React course, there is a very detailed module dedicated solely to work in Next.js. It's like killing two birds with one stone. Number four, the complete Next.js with React and Node. This is a very hands-on project-based course that really dials in to how Next.js works within React, but also how Node.js plays a role in determining the state of an application. Number five, building server-side rendered React apps for beginners. Are you a total novice? Why not take the intensity down a peg and learn how to use React to solve the first page download issue associated with single page apps by using Next.js to perform rendering on the server side. We hope you have enjoyed Next.js and the five things you need to know about it in 2021. If you learned something from this video, please click that thumbs up button and let us know in the comments if there's any recruitment, technology, or startup specific content you want us to cover next. Check out our video, 7 Reasons Why Vue.js is so popular to learn more about Vue.js. To be the first to see other amazing recruitment, employment, and startup strategy videos, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on. At Kofi Group, we're the executive recruitment specialists dedicated to matching software developers and machine learning engineers on a direct hire basis with VC-backed startups in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York, and Austin. We help startups outcompete Fang. Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, and Big Tech in the highly competitive war for talent. To benefit from a confidential conversation about your career and some of the best opportunities for software developers and startups, contact Kofi Group today.